for your next comedian. Yeah, they don't stop fucking ready for your next comedian. Drink some more beer, take another bite of your burger. Come on, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, this next comedian, her family came out tonight. She's supporting. Even the old abuelo. Just kidding. The dad. Senor, welcome to the Abbey. If you need anything, let me know. Any white people roughed up or you see a job that you think I should have instead of them. <laughs> fucking take that shit. That's how we roll. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for your next comedian? Here we go. Welcome to the stage, Ari Ariano. Thank you guys. Hey, give it up for Adam. He Joan Rivered it, huh? <laughs> oh, that was funny. Uh, yeah, my family's here tonight. My grandfather <laughs> slash father. It's weird. We're South American. Uh, and his balls. I just saw them not too long ago, and uh, they're pretty long, so it is true what Derek says. Gravity. I just put like, uh, I could put a wig at the end of it with like tape and stuff, and he'll dust the floor. Like, fuck the Swiffer, you know? Just walks around. And he's slow, so he picks up every corner. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. He doesn't understand, he doesn't speak English. Excuse me. Okay, no me digas. <clears throat> no me digas. Carajo. Yeah, my, uh, my family's here visiting from out of town, everybody. Woo! Yeah. Well, my mother, okay, thank you. My mother, she's been living here forever and uh, still has a very thick accent. I don't understand. Uh, stairs is estes, still. Yogurt is yogur. Palm olive is palmolive. Uh, and when I was born, I made her uterus drop, so just, just be sensitive to her. She's very delicate. Uh, and my sister's here from uh, Vene or, uh, Portugal, actually. She's here from Portugal. That was funny. Uh, I made her uterus drop, too. I uh, hated her when we were growing up, so I kicked the shit out of her. I made her uterus drop, also. Like, Mom. <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, my father's here visiting uh, for a month and a half. Cock blocker. Um, <laughs> from Caracas, Venezuela. Yeah, or as we like to say in English, the proper pronunciation is Caracas, Venezuela. That's the proper pronunciation. Yeah, uh, he, uh, you know, we take him to the, he's been here before, you know, he's been to Chicago. We live, uh, we live in Indiana, just, you know, let's clarify that. So we take him to the usual spots in Indiana, Walmart, Myers, uh, <laughs> farmers markets, you know, that's popular down there too. And uh, did we go to roller rink yet, Dad? No, not yet. That's the next on the agenda. And the grocery stores, that's, he's, uh, they don't have enough food in Venezuela actually. That's, yeah, that's sad, it's very sad. But uh, he visited a place he hadn't visited before uh, in his two years, or few years that he's been here. He went to the, uh, well actually he visited our American healthcare system not too long ago. He was in the ER on Saturday, everybody, huh? Give it up for that. Ah, yeah. Oh, that's where I saw his balls. I, uh, he passed out on me uh, while I was drunk, actually, at a restaurant on Saturday. And I, that was funny. Don't do that. Don't be drunk during an emergency, because you're like, what the fuck's going on? Oh, my God. You're fucking with me, Dan, aren't you? Does everybody else notice? And everybody else is like, oh, my God, what's going on? Call 911. And I'm like, whoa. And he's like, you know, he's not breathing and whatever. But he's fine, obviously. He's here tonight drinking coffee. 
bless his heart. But when we went to the ER, my, only my family's laughing. Oh. Uh, <laughs> when we went to the ER, uh, first of all, he didn't want to go with the paramedics. And not because he's a typical man, you know, he's like, I'm strong, I'm okay. No, it's because he's thinking about the dollars. All right? <laughs> So anyways, uh, but finally he agrees, and we're in the ER, and his ball sack's hanging out and dripping over the side of the table and the, the, the bed. Uh, <laughs> dusting the floors at the hospital. And uh, I love you, Dad. Thank you for being good support. Give him a round of applause real quick. Yeah. Oh, look at that. The light shining on your head. Anyway, so we're at the ER, and then the doctor's like, dude, we have to admit you. You know, you have a very, something's going on. You have to see a neurologist, we have to admit you. And he's like, no, no, no. We're like, dad, come on, why not? Uh-uh, no way. You know why? Because in Venice, if you don't have insurance or proof of that you can pay your bill, they won't let you in, okay? So he's like, I can't pay in dollars, I'm gonna die. And uh, we're like, no, dad, you can stay. And a month later, you get your bill. And then you'll be gone. <laughs> Skip out on that damn bell. But uh, but thank you guys. Uh, my name is Ari Arlano. God bless you. Thank you. Thanks, Dad. Thanks for your calls. Keep it going for Ari.